The following video asks us to graph the line 4x plus 3y equals 12. To do this, we're going to use the slope-intercept form of a line, which is y equals mx plus b. Um, to, to use this form, you have to have your problem solved for y. Well, we're not solved for y. We have 4x plus 3y on the same side. So we need to get 3y by itself. And in order to do this, we're going to subtract 4x to get 3y by itself. When I subtract 4x or add negative 4x, what I really want to do is put that four, negative 4x up front. Instead of subtracting 4x, I'm adding negative 4x to the 12. Now I need to go through and divide everything by 3 to get y by itself with the coefficient 1. Well, negative 4 divided by 3, we just leave as negative 4 thirds. And then 12 divided by 3, we do want an integer, which will be 4. So my y-intercept is 4, and my slope is negative 4 thirds. So the first step in graphing is to go and graph the y-intercept. So you go to the y-axis, which is the vertical line with the arrows on it, and you're going to go up to where y is 4. So you start in the middle at 0, 0, and you go up to 4. Then we're going to use the slope negative 4 thirds, which uh, is rise over run, so we're going to go down 4 for the, the negative, and then to the right 3. And as you can see, I did that twice. So I went down 4 over 3, and then again I went down 4 over 3. Okay, and because slope is always rise over run, and so my rise was negative 4, that's why I went down, because it was negative. Now, what I'm going to do here is just show you that if I check one of these points, for instance, the point 6, uh, six negative 4, which is on my graph, and if I plug that in, 4 times 6 plus 3 times negative 4, 6 was the x, 4 the y, it better make it true. Well, it does. 24 plus negative 12 does equal 12. So that shows you that that is the graph of that line, 4x plus 3y equals true, 12.